there isn't going to be 100% betterment. It's that simple. And we've, we've said that many times. You can read the op-ed in this week's Barnstable Enterprise by the Council President. There's not going to be 100% betterment. There's going to be financing for sewer infrastructure improvements and expansion in certain locations, Stewart's Creek included. There is stimulus money still coming, but it's not going to be 100% betterment. We have a CFAC committee that's been meeting for months to come up with a different financing plan. They, I've been shown some preliminary figures on how that might work. It is not a 100% betterment proposal. But they're not ready to, to put that out for public viewing yet. They need another month or two. In January, they're going to put it out to the public. And then this meeting on the 10th will further show that there is total commitment for full exploration of a different way of financing sewer. And I'd invite you to read Mr. Peter Boyer, who was the former town manager in Falmouth, who wrote a fantastic article in this week's Barnstable Patriot explaining how you can finance sewer expansion, as they did in Falmouth. One of the speakers brought this up. And you don't have to do it with 100% betterment. I think the speaker correctly said it was a 50% betterment program. But there's a lot more detail behind how that 50% betterment program worked. And Chatham is another example. They're doing a different program. So there are a lot of ways to do this, and, and no one needs to be um, feeling that they're going to be in peril financially because that is not what this town is doing. That's not what I'm doing. That's not what anyone in this town intends to do. If people on a computer say so, I guess it's your option to believe them, but I'm telling you the truth. That's not reality. This is reality right in this room. Thank you. To the uh, entire council. Um, in this entire uh, proceeding over the, uh, the many months that uh, we have discussed this, uh, I uh, believe that every single member of this council has said that, uh, that it was your plan and your commitment to spend the next uh, year or two uh, before the first dollar, the first bill went out uh, to seek alternatives, to ask the Comprehensive Financial Advisory for their assistance, to put together a citizens committee, including those citizens that are most directly uh, impacted. Uh, and you have, a, you, you have both the uh, Comprehensive Financial Advisory Committee uh, and soon uh, you will have your citizens uh, committee uh, looking at alternatives. Any of those alternatives would have to come back to the, to the council. Uh, if we're uh, of the belief, and I suspect that many, if not all of you are, uh, that this is not just a Stewart's Creek issue or a Quackett Lake issue, this fundamentally always was and always will be a community issue, then we will be looking at some type of override or some type of uh, general taxing uh, subsidy uh, so that uh, the 100% betterment uh, uh, w would not be uh, implemented. And so whatever proposal comes forward, it would have to come back to this body, our legislative body, for your uh, vote and for your support. Uh, 